Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Banks fail CBN stress tests on foreign operations. NJC clears 11 justices for Supreme Court. Umahi orders contractor back to site on 199 billion Naira Bodo Boni Road in Rivers. Remain strong in terrorism battle, minister urges military. Rivers House sits, accuses Fubara of withholding funding. And Tinubu, lack of synergy holds down West Africa's development. Okay, still we're starting with in the nation. Okay, maybe I should just start with the good news of the justices. So, um, in, for the first time in a long while, the Supreme Court will now be fully constituted of 21 justices, according to the Director of Information of the NJC at their 104th meeting held yesterday. The council has considered the list of the candidates presented to, uh, for inter by, to it for interview by the interview committee, and 11 of uh, some of the Court of Appeal justices will be also promoted to the, elevated to the Supreme Court, and one of them is Justice Abiru. Of course, I'm very, very <laughs> delighted to know my Lord Justice Abiru is a part of them. And so we we'll have that, the said, is pending, of course, the approval of the President and the Senate. So good news okay. to, to the judiciary. All right, let me take this, uh, the major headline. I was trying to see if it goes the name of the banks. So eight commercial banks have fallen short of the capital adequacy ratio, CAR, required for international authorization. The stress test conducted by the CBN has shown so far that these eight banks uh, have been affected. They put under pressure to raise their capital base to bridge the gap, which was brought about by the depreciation of the Naira against the dollar and other foreign agencies. Um, these, they said, um, through its 2021 guidelines, CBN had mandated the deposit banks to maintain a prudential CAR, 10% of national and regional banks. Unfortunately, these eight banks fell short of that. Uh, the decline in the bank CAR was attributed to decrease in total qualifying capital relative to increase risk weighted assets due to Naira's depreciation. Unfortunately, they didn't mention the names of the banks, so there's no panic out it there to go and say you, but they need to raise their capital base in order to be strong. It's just about their ability to fulfill international transactions. They are the kind of banks that you pay in dollar into to help you fulfill children's school fees and mm. the money will not reflect or you have your card abroad and they cannot do international transactions because they can't meet right. up with the exchange. I want to take the story. It's a follow-up story concerning the military. Um, what happened on Sunday, really sad story about the numbers keep increasing of number of lives lost. But I'm taking the perspective of the Minister for State for um, Defense, that's Belo Matawali. He has all the military to remain steadfast, said that they shouldn't let their spirits be dampened by the um, mishap, that what, what re, the regrettable incident is the word he used, that despite the regrettable incident, that they should continue their fight against insurgency and terrorism. He said he, this while visiting the survivors, and he was at the Baral Diko teaching hospital in Kaduna State. He said that they're not going to relent the fights. He commiserated with the families of those who have lost their lives and those who survived. And he said that um, the, fight, the, the military should keep their spirit up. They should continue in the fight against insurgents. And um, I know that there's been a lot of people t say, talking about this mistake or this mishap um, that led to the loss of lives. But we are hoping that the, spirit, the, the military don't get their spirits dampened by the feedback they are getting from people. Yeah. So I wanted to take the um, political crisis in River State. So the lawmakers who are um, loyal to the FCT minister held plenary behind closed doors <laughs> yesterday. We are their assembly complex with tight security. Meanwhile, there has been a court order for them not to hold, but they've gone against the, the court order and they're holding their sessions and they have accused the governor of withholding funds mm. for running of the House of Assembly. But that will not deter them. They will continue. They will continue mm -hmm. doing their work whether he withholds funds or not. Meanwhile, um, they have also removed the former chief, the chief, I don't know if he's former, because court, you know in Nigeria we don't obey court again. <laughs> so, uh, the court, are, they, they've removed the former chief whip, or the chief whip, Ehi, what, what's his name again? Mm. Anyway, his name is Ehi something, and they've put in uh, chief whip Major Jack as the new majority leader, who was, Sorry, he was the majority leader. He was the majority leader. So they put in Major Jack 
and putting Franklin Umwabuchi as the new chief whip. Right. Okay. Yeah. Moving on now to the punch. Kaduna village bombing protesters storm National Assembly. AI um, threatens suit. Deaths reach 127. Um, that's Amnesty International, yes. Threatens suit. 346 billionaire voted for presidential jets, refreshment states, and others. FG loses six, $161 million to a nine year conflict with Intel, says NPA. Supreme Court, 11 justices kill NJC hurdles await Tinubu's nod. FG votes 50 billion for student load. Family mourns Nigerian lady strangled to death in UK. Suspected ritualist dismember OAU student sells part to Ogun Yahoo boy. Okay. Okay, so let's just let me take the story of this Nigerian lady strangled to death. Um, Nurse Owayetai Omoreni Keji um, was found dead in her apartment so in the sad. UK along, and just by her side was her husband. So she had called the police a day before reporting some abuse in the house. And the next day, when the police came in to check it out, they found her lifeless on the floor. They tried and they found no, no pulse. But they saw her husband who was immediately arrested. She's a mother of three. She just relocated to the UK and her husband just recently joined her in the UK. Hmm. Um, as I yesterday, rumors were that it was about financial issue that they had that they fighting about, but we were yet to see. In family this members have started posting. So this punch article just captured all her friends and families post on social media, you know, mourning her. So the issue had been happening here or what? No, they didn't. Mm. They didn't. She moved just in 2022. Yes. And he that just joined, joined, joined her. her recently. And he came to come and kill her. Yeah, he joined her and killed her. Oh, God. Really sad. So sad. The, so um, the, go ahead. You want to say sorry? The composing body of an 18 year old 100 level student from OAU was found in a, in a shallow grave. Um, apparently, they had killed him for rituals. They had sold his core and uh, his oh, head. God. So, can you, it's just a, I was reading the story and I was. Uh, they, they sold all of his body parts, and the police found it, him through his phone. One of the people who killed him had his phone, and that's how they were able to trace mm -hmm. where his body okay. is. They've arrested two of them. Uh, they, they, they sold a... a, a if like if, if Ed Dao was alleged to have gone with Quarry's head and his two wrists and paid the sum of 100000 to Hakim Usman's account as proceeds... <laughs> Human beings. human beings, selling human beings, selling human parts. This has to be killed like immediately. I mean, I don't even know where they they is it unfortunate. They still have to be sure. They continue to sell his body to internet fraudsters. They buried the hearts and two legs. I mean, then they put the flesh inside a plastic rubber for rituals. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, it's a yeah. very very, very terrible graphic, way to die. Horrific, Honestly, horrific way to die. Let me take the. Um, I think I have a story. Let me go and uh, let, me see, let me see how much story. I have a story here. I can't even remember the story I took. Okay, yeah, federal government voted 50 billion naira um, in the budget, 2024 budget, for the implementation of its student loan scheme. Mm. Uh, according to our president, it's going to be implemented starting January. Many of us already heard the story. But point reports that um, our president insisted that the student loan scheme was a more sustainable model for funding tertiary education and increasing citizens' access to higher education. However, how they plan to disburse these funds, how it plans to be uh, implemented is yet to be revealed, or it's quite sketchy for now. But by January 2024, the new student's loan program must commence to, to, to our, to, for, for our children uh, and to, to help address the long-standing issues in the educational sector, according to our president. Human capital, according to him, is the most critical so resource for national development, according Therefore, the budget prioritizes human development with particular attention to children and the, foundation, and the foundation of our nation. So we'll see how that goes. We hope it's done with transparency and accountability so that everybody sees that there's fairness in the uh, process of how these student loans are disbursed and doesn't disenfranchise certain groups and sectors. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. 